Let's discuss some more about vaccinations and the variants. Professor Christian Happy, a professor of molecular biology and genomics at the Department of Biological Sciences, also a director, African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases, joins us now. Thank you for joining us on the program, Professor Happy. Um, what is it about the coronavirus that it spreads? One minute we think it's under control, the next minute it takes us by surprise and a very important case now is India. I mean, we're seeing different versions or is it variants of themselves? Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, the coronavirus is uh, an RNA virus. And because RNA is a molecule that is very unstable, so it's subjected to, to change. And that's the reason why you keep seeing the virus changing, mutating. Accumulation of mutation in the virus actually results in what we call new variants. And the variant can only continue if a transmission continues. And that's the reason why we say that people should try as much as possible to use both pharmaceutical and non-pharmaceutical methods. Pharmaceutical now that we have vaccines and non-pharmaceutical methods, so like, like social distancing and wearing PPEs. As long as we have transmission, the virus will keep mutating, the virus will keep changing, and we will see new variants. The virus is trying to adapt, and as such, through the process of adaptation, it tends to be more virulent. It tends to be more transmissible. And that's exactly what result, you know, the, uh, as a result of mutation accumulating in the spike protein and other proteins of the virus. And, and therefore, you know, we see new variants emerging here and there. So it's just a normal thing for okay. a virus, especially RNA viruses. Tell us about Nigeria's variants, uh, the variants that, you know, we've been able to identify here and which ones are of concern and which aren't at the moment. Well, presently in Nigeria, we've, uh, as I said before, we have over 55 different variants circulating in Nigeria. But out of the 55 different variants of the virus circulating in Nigeria, we have one variant of concern, which is a B117 you know, variant uh, that originated in the UK. Then we have two new variants that we discovered in Nigeria. One, uh, the first variant that we discovered in, in my lab in Nigeria is the B1525, which is now a variant of interest. That variant emerged from Nigeria and then spread to, to the rest of the world and it's really increasing very fast in the UK as well. There's a new variant that we recently described, which is a B11318. Uh, which is a variant that also emerged from Nigeria and then in, country, in a country like Mauritius is also creating a lot of havoc there. So again, you know, these variants are prone to emerge and as such, you know, we need to ensure that, you know, uh, we continue to curb down transmission. As long as there's transmission, we'll be seeing new variants and those variants, as time goes on, tend to be more and more potential and more, uh, more lethal. So therefore, it's very important for people to get vaccinated. It's very important for people to ensure that they wear masks and then respect social distancing even after vaccination because there have been evidence that even after vaccination if you don't respect this rule there's a probability that you can get infected professor happy always a pleasure thank you so much professor christian happy is a professor of molecular biology and genomics the department of biological sciences thank you for joining us on the program thank you we have more on the global updates of COVID-19 when we return. Please stay with us.